Okay guys, so this is my makeup train case. I am going to show you what is in it. I just wanted to show you the full length of it. Um, so it is gold and black, and as you can see, it has these sort of ridged diamonds on it. Um, it does come with a handle. You can just lift that up. Um, and it does have all four wheels, so you can just slide it. Um, you don't have to turn it and then roll it. It just rolls really nice and easily. So there's three parts to it. The first part is um, this bottom compartment, then there's a middle compartment, and then the top. And I'm going to show you all three of those and how I use them. I also do want to say that you can just carry this top part around on its own. So it latches off and comes up. So it comes with a strap as well, so you can just bring this with you if that is easier for you, but I like to bring the whole thing with me. I'm going to start with what I keep at the bottom of my train case. So what you do to open this is there are two latches on the side. And that just comes open very nicely and you just pick this up and out of it. So first off I have my brushes. I keep my brushes in this case by Morphe and it is the large brush holder. So you just snap off both sides and there are your brushes. And this is tall enough where it doesn't crush any of my brushes. So I keep my eye brushes in the top of the holder just to make it easier for me to find the brushes and then I'll keep all my face brushes in the other side. It just makes things a lot easier so I'm not digging around this huge thing for a small little brush. Okay, so then moving on, I have this bag by Joe and Joe. I got it from TJ Maxx and it is a nice spacious bag. This is where I keep all my lip products. Over on this side I have pinks and reds. And on this side, I have all my nudes. And then I have a waist belt brush holder that I can use. And this is from Morphe as well. It's kind of dirty, so. I also like to keep some tissues with me. And I do the plus lotion so that their nose does not dry out. I also like to keep some paper towels with me just to clean up the space that I'm working in if I am traveling. And last but not least, I have this. Um, clear case. got this from Walmart. And here I just keep some wet ones for sanitary purposes. I have two clips um, just to pull their hair back so that it's out of the way. I have these disposable lip wands. You can get these on Amazon and you can get them at Sally's. also have the disposable mascara wands. Then on the bottom row I just have some lashes. These are the Ardell Dummy Wispies, um, a thing of Q-tips, because these just come in handy for so many different things. These are shadow shields. I love these. So helpful. Some more lashes. I have some individual lashes. I keep some hand sanitizer on me at all times. Some eye drops, these are the Roto Ice for redness, dryness, and pretty much everything. Um, I keep a lip moisturizer, the Aquaphor, and I keep a makeup pencil sharpener. So that is everything that's in the bottom part of the train case. Um, it comes with the strap, like I said, and then a bunch of different size inserts. So as you can see, they have some of these holders in case if you want to put hair products down there and hair styling tools just to latch them in. There's a really good amount of space in here, which I like a lot. So this um, is that middle level that I was showing you, and it has a nice zipper, and I like that it's clear so you can see what all's in here. Okay, so I'm just going to go through what I keep in here. So on this side, I keep all my setting sprays. So I have the, of course, my favorite Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, the Skindinavia Makeup Finishing Spray, the Skindinavia Primer Spray, and then I have a Mary Kay Moisturizing Spray Lotion, and I have the MAC Fix Plus. And then in this section are all the eye palettes that I keep with me. So I have the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This is my own uh, Z Palette, which is just a bunch of MAC shadows and Makeup Geek. 
I have the uh, BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. And then I also keep in here, because it doesn't really fit anywhere else, my um, Z Palette with MAC Shaping Powders in Emphasize and what is this one called? Soft Focus. So I use, keep those in there. On this side, I keep all my face palettes. So the first one is the uh, Becca Cosmetics with Jaclyn Hill palette. Whoo, I love that palette. I have the Chicathon palette by Benefit, which is really good um, for your fair skin clients. I have the NARS, I can't even pronounce that, Guy Borden palette. I have the Cap on D shade Light Contour palette. The Tarte Bling It On palette. And then the Per Minerals Sun Kissed Glow palette. So last but not least, we have the top part. And it opens up very nice like that. And you have your two sides and they just open up. And voila. So over on this side, I keep all my bronzers. I have Hoola. By Benefit, MAC Give Me Sun, the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, and the Chanel De Soleil Tan Bronzer. I keep all my powders in here, Airspun, which is great for everyone, the Terry Hyaluronic Powder, and then I just keep a mini Makeup Forever HD Powder. And then these are all the foundations I bring with me. I keep a lot of the Milani Conceal and Perfect because these are great for full coverage, so I have those in three different shades, and I like to mix them to create everyone's perfect shade. I keep the Makeup Forever HD, CoverGirl 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous, uh, Maybelline Fit Me, and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I have in a few different shades as well. And then I also keep over here the Benefit Prime Time Neutralizing Primer to even out anyone's skin tone. So on the far side over here are all my brow products. And I just have a ColourPop taupe dope, or dope Taupe Pencil, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, the Anastasia Brow Gel in Brunette. Can you guys tell I'm an Anastasia fan? Um, a NYX Concealer, which I use to shape the brow. Um, a bunch of Anastasia Dip Brow Pomades, and then the Duo Eyebrow Powder. I also keep Benefit Give Me Brow, some brow scissors, which are really useful for cutting eyelashes and trimming their brows. Um, I keep some tweezers. Uh, a NYX wax and this little thing with two brushes for eyelashes and eyebrows. So that's everything that's on that side. And then this I have to keep over here when it's closed because it's too tall to fit. But this is a Mary Kay CC cream and that usually just fits in right there. These are all the concealers I bring with me. First off I have the NYX color correcting concealer. Two of the MAC Pro Longwear concealers. The Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I also keep the Benefit Professional Primer in here. And then I have a bunch of the Maybelline Fit Me concealers, the Naked, Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and Max Prep and Prime in Light Boost. So I just keep all of those right there. So moving on to the second level, right here I keep um, my eyeshadow primers. So I have Too Faced Shadow Insurance and the Lorac Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I always keep this mascara with me because it is jet black and it is just great for the clients. I also use the duo with it. This is a base to help volumize the lashes and it's just kind of like a primer so I really like that. This is super handy. The Finishing Touch a Hair Remover in case if you just need to clean up a little bit. Just some more eyeliner pencils. I also keep a waterproof mascara. Um, eyelash adhesive, the Duo brand, love that. 
Um, and then I just have a bunch of random eyeliners, liquid liners. Um, I do bring a glitter liner with me in case if someone wants a little pizzazz in their life. And then on this side, I have all single shadows. So I keep a lot of like champagne-y colors. So I have the Stila Kitten. I also keep my MAC Painterly Paint Pot in here. Um, just a nice little Maybelline shadow, Flirt. I keep a lot of these color pops in there. I have some pigments over there by Makeup Geek, um, that sort of thing. To this bottom section, I keep these with me. Um, this is just for if I'm doing a trial run or if maybe the client wants to know what products I used on her. Um, it's just a nice chart to fill out, especially when I'm doing brides, just to remember what products I used on them. And I will also take a picture of their makeup um, and print it out just to remind me how it ended up looking. So they have a bunch of these on Pinterest, online, so I just like to keep those with me. Then I have some makeup remover wipes. I just have the plain old Equate brand, um, no scent or anything, so that doesn't agitate anyone's skin. I always keep a moisturizer with me. This is my favorite moisturizer by CeraVe. Um, it is good for pretty much anyone's skin, and again, no sense, won't make anyone's skin react, and I like that it has a pump so it's sanitary. I also keep a foundation plate with me. I have a mirror, um, just so that they can hold it while I'm doing their makeup in case they wanna watch or just see how everything's going. I love these um, powder puffs to put on your hand when you're doing their eyes so that you don't mess up their face makeup or create any dents or smudge or anything. I like to put those on my finger um, just so that I'm not like pushing into their skin. It just is a much more professional way of touching their face. Of course, you know, I had to put in my color switch. This is great for when you're switching shadow colors. You just wipe your brush in there and cleans it off. Um, I keep a spray bottle of, what is this? This is alcohol. And what I do with this is, before I put makeup on someone's face, I will spray the product and that just sanitizes it. Um, I think it's just really important when you're doing a bunch of clients to make sure that you sanitize all your makeup. I keep uh, a few makeup sponges, just regular ones down there. And then I have a baggie full of extra foundation colors, um, moisturizer, tinted moisturizers, shades that I don't use too much, but I think it's really good just to have with me because you never know. My beauty blender. A pen just to write down, and then some extra blushes because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. Just a few Milani, MAC, uh, Tarte, Jane Iredale, and Eye Man. So, All right, so this is generally what a makeup setting would look like for me. Um, just everything laid out very nice, very clean. And what's really nice about this train case, which I've done a lot of times, is just having it on the holder and if you don't have a lot of like counter space or anything, and you can just use it like this because it's tall enough and you can just put everything you need there and it's just perfect. I really hope this video was helpful. I will leave where I did find this train case listed below. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look. I am doing a one brand makeup tutorial using all Eye Man products.